Hello everyone. Welcome to GK Shankar Learning Institute Group 2 2A Test Batch Prelims 2024 Test 13 General English. General English is the 13th test. So, this is the first part of the first part. So, if you have a book, you can see the first part of 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 the first so, that is the main condition of the question. Straight away, uh, question number one. Uh, he even yawed at the tried pieces of eggshell he refers to. He refers to young seagull. The first flight in the story is the first flight. The first flight is the first flight. The seagull is the first flight. The first flight is the first flight. The flight is our on the LD param. So, uh, first question option number option C the seagull is the answer. Question number two find the find out the synonym. Uh, he then trotted back, trotted back. Italy says panirko in synonym of the way, trotted back and forth uh, from one end of the ledge to another ledge na munadi theory or narrow steep on the number ledge in solo. But now in the caterer than the trotted than get to so trotted up dingrid on the to run at a moderate pace with the short steps. Anging alam moderate. So to run at moderate pace with the short step. Question number two find out the synonym trotted on the option B to run at moderate pace with the short step. Next question number three find out the incorrect statement about Liam O. Flaherty who wrote the story first flight. So he is the author for the first flight statement number one Liam O'Flaherty belongs to the period of 1896 to 1984 yes he was born in the year of 1896 and uh, died in the year of 1984 Liam O'Flaherty was a British novelist and a short story writer so he is a Irish novelist so the second statement is incorrect next third statement Liam, Liam O'Flaherty was a native Irish speaker from the Calcutt Hellchart. So, Hellchart Center is the Irish speaker. Now, the incorrect statement is the two only incorrect statement. Option B is the incorrect statement. For the question number three, find out the incorrect statement. Um, Liam O. Flaherty is an Irish novelist. Option B is the correct answer for the question number three. Next question, find out the word. Find out the word which means uh, the description was given. We can choose the word from the options. Uh, find out the word making a gesture with the hand or head encourage someone to approach or follow. So, this is the first flight of the poem. Pros are the same as the seagull encourage. Use the beckoning. The word beckoning. Option C, fourth question. Option C is the correct answer for the question number 4. Next, question number 5. Find out the word a sharp broken noise of cry of a hen, goose, or seagull. Option 5. Option C is the question number 5. Option C is the answer. Crackle. Crackle is the sharp broken noise. Cry of a hen, goose, or seagull. The shrilling is the narrow voice. Or shrilling is the harsh sound or voice. So, this is the sharp broken noise or cry of hen. Crackle. Mackerel is fish, ledge is a steep area. This is the particular prose that we will learn. The first flight which was written by Liam Flaherty. Question number 6. Find out the parts of speech here. The young seagull screamed with joy. This is noun, verb, adjective, adverb. So it is obviously noun. Now, yeah, verb of Arla is the path only the name subject with the connection a cadea, the other only the verb cadea there. Adjective may in the Arthla use for Nala Pacatal or noun or another, and other than the adjective considered upon a mudium, Pirimban mea. Adverb by Alva even there. So, option A is the correct answer for the question number six. Next question number seven find out the parts of speech. The young bird made a pretentious posture of falling asleep. Pretentious posture. O U S. Pretentious Abdinawe adjective. So, question number seven. Option C, adjective is the answer. Find out the parts of speech the young bird made a pretentious posture of falling asleep. Option C is the answer for the question number 7. 
நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் எயிட் ஆட் ஒன் அவுட் ஆட் ஒன் அவுட் இதில் பாட்ஸ்அப் ஸ்விட்ச் தான் கேட்டிருக்காங்க ஆட் ஒன் அவுட் இதில் வந்து வைட் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் மேட் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் பர்ஃபெக்ட் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் மேடன் அப்படிங்கிறது இந்த இடத்துல வேர்பு ஸோ ஆப்ஷன் சி இஸ் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் ஃபார் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் எயிட் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த ஆட் ஒன் அவுட் நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் நைன் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த ஆட் ஒன் அவுட் எக்ஸாஸ்ட் மேட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ஷன் ஸோ பர்ஃபெக்ஷன் இஸ் த நவுன் ஹியர் ரிமைனிங் திங்ஸ் ஆர் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் ஸோ எக்ஸாஸ்ட் எக்ஸாஸ்டட் ஃபேன் ஆர் எக்ஸாஸ்டட் பர்சன் இந்த மாதிரிலாம் வரத நம்ம அப்ஜெக்டிவ்னு சொல்லுவோம் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த ஆட் ஒன் அவுட் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் நைன் ஆப்ஷன் டி இஸ் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் டென் ஹிஸ் ஃபேமிலி வாஸ் ஸ்க்ரீமிங் அண்ட் ஆஃபரிங் ஹிம் ஃபுட் கன்வெர்ட் இன் டு அப்ஜெக்டிவ் ஸ்க்ரீமிங் ஸ்க்ரீமிங்கை அப்ஜெக்டிவாக கன்வெர்ட் பண்ண சொல்கிறாங்க கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் டென் ஆப்ஷன் பி இஸ் த ஆன்சர் ஹிஸ் ஸ்க்ரீமிங் ஃபேமிலி ஃபேமிலி நவுன் ஸ்க்ரீமிங் இஸ் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் ஸோ ஹிஸ் ஸ்க்ரீமிங் ஃபேமிலி வாஸ் ஆஃபரிங் ஹிம் ஃபுட் ஆப்ஷன் பி இஸ் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் லெவன் The depth of the sea from the ledge scarred the skigal. Convert into adjective. So, depth of the sea from the ledge scarred the seagull. In the case of depth, if you want to say this, you can say this. You can say this. You can say this. The deep sea. You can say this. Option C. The deep sea from the ledge of the scarred seagull. Scarred the seagull. C is the noun. Deep is the adjective. So here, deep is the adjective. Question number 11. Next, question number 12. Find out the incorrect uh, sentence. Find out the incorrect sentence. Question number 12. If you look at all of these things, it's not a good thing. When I was a child, I could climb a, uh, climb a tree easily, but now I can't. Could. I can win the singing contest. Is the confidence. You should buy this book. It's worth of buying. Suggestion. Poongodai may speak several languages. May kadeyadu. Can. Can speak several languages. I swear you won't tell lies again. So fourth one is incorrect. The question is about find out the incorrect state, uh, sentence which regarding modal verbs. Option 12. Question number 12. Option C is the answer. Four only. Next question number 13. Find out the incorrect sentence modal verbs. Question number 13. So question number 13. My father used to play badminton in the evening when he was at college. Used to recollection of past events. One correct. So next one. You must do as I say. This is correct. Can I have another glass of water? May I have another glass of water? So, three incorrect. CB has not practiced hard, but he can win the space. He win the race. Confidence. Question number, uh, the fifth statement. We may preserve our natural resources. We ought to. We ought to. Is the suitable modal verb for the fifth sentence. So, three and five are incorrect. Option C is the... answer for the question number 13 find out the incorrect sentence based on the modal verbs 3 and 5 3 and 5 ஏ வந்து incorrect னு சொல்லும்போது மே ஒரு ஒரு permission கேக்குறது அப்படிங்கும்போது நம்ம மே அப்படிங்கறத பயன்படுத்துவோம் அது இல்லாம complete duty ய பத்தி சொல்றது ஆட் டு வந்து பயன்படுத்துவோம் for example the people have to obey the traffic rules அதுக்கு அதை விட பெட்டர் எதுனா த பீப்புள் ஆட் டு ஒபே த டிராஃபிக் ரூல்ஸ் என்று சொல்லுவோம்ல அந்த அந்த டைப் தான் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் ஃபோர்டீன் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த ஆட் ஒன் அவுட் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் ஃபோர்டீன் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த ஆட் ஒன் அவுட் மெனி ஆஃபீஸ் அசிஸ்டன்ட் வேர் அப்பாயிண்டட் பை மேனேஜர் பேசிவ் வாய்ஸ் மை கிராண்ட் மதர் பெயிண்டட் தட் போர்ட்ரேட் பேசிவ் வாய்ஸ் எ கலர்ஃபுல் ஹேட் ஹேட் பீன் பாட் பை A colorful hat, hat had been bought by Malini for her daughter. Passive voice. They have asked me to pay the pay. Fine. So, this is the active voice. Active voice. So, option D is the incorrect. For the question number 14. Next question number 15. Find out the odd one out. 
All questions were answered patiently by the salesman. Does his behavior vex me? The enemy has been defeated by our army. The police were taking the militants to the prison. Option B is the active voice. The remaining are passive voice. Option B is find one out. Add one out. Question number 16. Find out the word. A long search for something that is difficult to find is called quest. Question number 16. Quest. The quest in the Tadal in the Tamil Sulwanga, a long search for the search for something is difficult to find out. Find out the word. Next question number 17. She had no memory of having seen any other human face other than her father's. She refers to Mirinda. The Tempest is the story which was written by William Shakespeare, who belongs to England. Question number 17. She had no memory of having seen any other human face than fathers she refers to mirinda next question number 18 by virtue of his art he had released many good spirits uh, from a witch called sicorax he refers to so who was the person who had released many good spirits from the witch called sicorax Obviously, the answer is option B, Prospero. Prospero is the person who had released the good uh, good spirits were embodied into the trees. Sikora is on the trees and the spirit is cut and the uh, merch is cut and the release is the Prospero day work. Uh, in the line of Tempest, the question number 18, option B. Next question number 19, find out the speaker. Find out the speaker, you were a little angel that did preserve me. Your innocent smiles made me bear against my misfortunes. You were a little angel that preserved me. Preserve me na protect pandrade. Your innocent smiles made me bear up against misfortunes. Enodiya durdustengal kedraake ennai padgatte de unodiya smile na abrin chunranga. The speaker is identify the speaker. The speaker is Prospero. Prospero. Uh, speaking this conversation made this conversation with her daughter Mirinda. In the work Tempest, which was written by the dramatist William Shakespeare. Question number 20. Bring him here. My daughter must see this young, young prince. Where is the king and my brother? Him refers to. So, in the other one, bring him. Him in the Yara on the Ketrukanga. The person Ferdinand who um, fall in the sea and the aerial one the point or a tempest to create for no other first catch a person you are getting getting now 13 and the question number 20 option C is the answer next question number 21 find out the synonym in a corner of aisle sadly lamenting the loss of the king his father lamenting what is the synonym of lamenting lamenting is the longing for a on the soul one other so how are the Grief, sad, we for the moon may synonym da. So, option D, all of the above is the answer for the question number 21. Find out the synonym in a corner of the aisle, sadly lamenting the loss of the king, his father. Question number 22, he followed in amazement of sound of Ariel, Ariel's voice till it led him to the Prospero and Mirinda. He refers to, he refers to Ferdinand. Ferdinand was the person brought by Ariel to Prospero. Tempest create panna the gappero. Um, Thirteen and the Prospero ke ta kutto ronga. Ariel da adu the same. Question number twenty three. Um, why are you so ungentle? Have pity, sir. I will be survey surety. Surety. Find out the speaker. The speaker is Mirinda to his father, uh, Prospero. Prospero when the Thirteen and ke idra nariya. Wishing on the Savara upon the Angentel and other green and Mirinda the Question number twenty four William Shakespeare is an question number twenty four William Shakespeare is an English poet, correct playwright, correct actor, dramatist. All are correct. One, two, three, four. Option B is the correct answer for the question number twenty four. Next question number twenty five. How many Shakespeare's, how many of Shakespeare's large narrative poems are there? How many of Shakespeare's large narrative poems are there? Large narrative poems, option D is the answer for the question number 25. Option D. Two long narrative poems were written by William Shakespeare who belongs to England. 
So who wrote 154 sonnets and 37 plays additionally? Option A, 37 plays. Option C, um, 154 sonnets. Option D, two long poems. Option D is the answer for the question number 25. Next question number 26. The play Tempest was written between 1610 to 1611. The play The Tempest was written by William Shakespeare, who is an English poet, English uh, playwright, actor, dramatist. So the work was written between the year 1610 to 1611. Question number 27. Which story was based on actual wreck of ship called Sea Venture of? Bermuda that was headed to Virginia. So, which story was based on the actual wreck of the ship called Sea Venture of Bermuda that was headed to the Virginia? This is nothing but option D is the Tempest. The Tempest story inspired from the actual wreck of the ship, um, the Venture of Sea Venture of Bermuda uh, was headed to Virginia. Question number 28 find out the incorrectly passed. Um, incorrectly matched pair speakers question number 28 um, she imprisoned the spirits in the body of large trees Sikoras is the character uh, he was the chief of all spirit Ariel I was the Duke of Milan and you were the princess Prospero now Pray tell me, sir, your reason for raising the steam where? It's not Ferdinand. It was the dialogue given by Miranda. So, 4 only incorrect for the question number 28. Next, question number 29. 29 who was an American cartoonist, author, humorist, journalist, playwright and celebrated wit? So, the author, James Grover Thurber. James Grover Thurber was then author, American cartoonist, author, humorist, journalist, playwright and celebrated with. Next question number 30, find out the incorrectly matched pair. Question number 30, find out the incorrectly matched pair. In particular, Hullabulo, uh, patrol, patrol man, attic and slammed. Patrol man, patrolling police officer, correct. Attic, a space or room inside the party, inside the roof of the building is correct. Slammed, shut the door or window forcefully loudly is the correct. So, hula blow bringer the loud, loud noise and who are excited. Option D, all are correctly matched. So, the question is about to find incorrectly matched. So, none is the answer for the question number 30. Next, we move on the question number 31. Find out the correctly matched pair. Correctly matched pair. Option 1, 2, 3, 4. Char, chairs, box, boxes, es Eskimo, Eskimo, lady, ladies. So, the answer correctly matched pair. Option D is the answer for the question number 31 because ex uh, Eskimo consists two various plural forms. Ex uh, for example, whereas um, Eskimo as a plural, Dillama Eskimos, M O E S, in the Mari or plural. Irukhe. So, you do make correct them. Char, chars, box, boxes, three Eskimo, Eskimos, lady, ladies. Option D is the correct answer for the question number 31. 1, 2, 3 and 4 are correctly matched. Next question number 32. Find out the correctly matched pair. Formula, formula, child, children, dear, dear, loaf, loaves. So, question number 32. They asked the correctly matched pair 1, 2 and 4 are correct. Option B is the correct answer for the question number 32. Next question number 33 fill in the blank with the suitable options. Suitable options which is related to the conjunctions. Um, similarly which was used in simple compound complex as well. Question number 33. 33 obviously fill in the blank with the suitable option. Everything falls to the ground because of Earth's gravitational pull. Full is the suitable option when it's compared to other options question number 33 option b is the correct answer fill in the blank with the suitable options next we go for the question number 34 fill in the blank with the suitable options the, the trial was conducted as the procedure of law the trial was conducted in accordance with in accordance with option a is the correct suitable word 
which is related to option uh, question number 34 fill in the blank with suitable options the trial was conducted in accordance with the procedure of law question number 35 fill in the blank with the suitable options question number 35 as a result of his hard work as a result of his hard work he achieved the target as a result of his hard work he achieved the target question number 35 next question number 36 Match the following L. M. Montgomery, Liam of Flaherty, Henry Van Dyck, William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare is a British author, is correctly matched. Montgomery is a Canadian, uh, Canadian uh, uh, po poet as well as author. Liam of Flaherty belongs to Irish, Henry Van Dyck, Dyck belongs to America. So, option 36, question number 36, match the following. Option A is the correctly matched. Next question number 37 find out the correctly matched pair related to active voice to passive voice active passive voice related question question number 37 somebody has taken my book somebody has taken away my book my book has been taken away is a correct conversion next no one has bought the tickets the tickets have not been bought is the correct conversion did he write a letter? Was a letter written by him? Correct conversion. Uh, is he watching us? Are we being watched by him? Is correctly matched. So, option D is the answer. All options have correctly matched. Question number 37. Find out the correctly matched pair. Active to passive voice. The answer is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Next, we move on the question number 38. Find out the correctly matched pair. Active to passive voice. 1. Who will accept this? Who has arranged this meeting? When will you finish the building? How did you do this? The actual conversion from the active to passive voice. By whom this be this uh, will this be accepted? By whom this will be accepted? Who has arranged this meeting? By whom has this meeting been arranged? When will you finish the building? When will the building be finished by you? How did they do this? How was this done by them? So, they all have correct convert. So, uh, yeah, uh, it was correctly converted active to passive form. Again, the answer goes to be 1, 2, 3 and 4 are correct. Option D is the question. Option D is the answer for the question number 38. Find out, find out the correctly matched pair active to passive form. Next, we move. On the question number 39, who was an American author, poet, educator and a clergyman? So, find out. We can use the term find out an American author, poet, educator and a clergyman. 39 question number Henry Van Dyke. Henry Van Dyke specifically, he was a clergyman. Clergyman which is related to religion related post especially belongs to Christianity question number 39 next question number 40 who was elected to American Academy of Arts and Letters and received many honors it's nothing but option C Henry Van Dyke is the answer for the question number 40 option C next question number 41 identify the figures of speech from the following line to youth and age and travels on with the chair option A personification here the youth and age is personified here so, question number 41, identify the figures of speech from the following line. Option A, personification is the correct answer. Next, question number 42, identify the figures of speech from the following lines. New friendship, high adventure and a crown. So, here crown is compared to achievements or achieve something or um, uh, some uh, achievement of target. So, all are the good things compared to crown so here is the option c metaphor is the answer for the question number 42 identify the figures of speech of the line new friendship high adventure and crown crown is compared here option c is the answer for the question number 42 so question number 43 find out the rhyme scheme the summer of life she is ready to see in spring she says spring will come again my dear let's me care for ones who are near she is the woman she has no fear so rhyme scheme a b b b dear 
near fear so these are the rhyme scheme continuously b occurs so the answer will be a b b b for the question number 43 the rhyme scheme a b b b question number 44 find out the poem based on the line question number 44 persistence is the key to every everything so uh, persistence is the key to everything so it's a proverb occurred in the poem i am every woman i am every woman the poem consists the um the line persistence is the key to everything it was a proverb Question number 44, option C is the correct answer. Next question number 45, find out the incorrectly matched pair. Incorrectly matched pair. So, it's like a idiom. Idiom. So, competent on the ball, not confident to speak, find one's voice, extremely happy over the move, listen, lend me air. So, it's highly confident to speak is called find one's voice. So, Two incorrectly matched question number 45 option B is the correct answer for the question number 45 two only next question number 46 find out the correct sentence find out the correct sentence. question number 46 find out the correct sentence the air hostess instructed the passenger to wear the seat belts during takeoff when it felt happy to get along with the neighbors in the new locality uh, there will be a show, shut down next week in office uh, during warm up uh, every day in the morning keeps one healthy find out the incorrect sentences so all are correct sentence 1 2 3 and 4 so question number 47 find out the correct sentence present tense find out the correct sentence present tense Saravanan always go to the walk in the morning. Uh, goes. Dust plus go is called goes. So, subject in the singular are in China, we can use the uh, verb goes. Dust plus go goes. We are gathering here for a meeting and chairperson is yet to arrive. Aruna has been has been eagerly waiting for to meet her friend since morning. Siba is moving to a new house next week. Our question number 47, 2 and 4 incorrectly. Um, yes. Sir. 1 and 3. Yes. Option C. 1 and 3. I bring the answer. Uh, 47. Find out the correct sentence. 1 and 3. Next question number 48. Find out the correct sentence from the first sentence. Correct sentence get rukanga. Ilakya and Adira enjoying each other's company very much. Money has been working for this school for five years. It is pouring outside now. Nasira attends the music. Attend. Attended or attend. The music class regularly. So, appa, attend in Mattu Varade, dust plus uh, attend in Uru. So, attends the music class regularly. So, in the other thing, dust singular on the second. So, uh, question one, option one incorrect, three incorrect. So, two and four is correct. Option D is the answer for the question number 48. Next question number 49, find out the correct sentence past tense. So, they have asked the correct sentence 1 and 3. I went to her place on food. They requested him when manager arrived. The children were played in the ground when teachers arrived. The children were played. No, it's incorrect. So, the children were play playing. Continues from the verb. Past continuous. If you had worked hard here. So, have a rather 
if you have if you had worked hard you would have won the relay match so 4 is incorrect at the same time 2 is incorrect 1 and 3 are the correct sentence 49 option c is the correct answer next uh, the final one 50th question find out the adjective from the following find out the adjective from the following so option c one only is the adjective so one innate innate wisdom inborn wisdom so innate intellectual innate wit so innate is the adjective sai verb grants verb mons verb the let me does could send the verb so two three four are verb one only adjective for the question number 50 so we have completed the test of 50 questions so 13th test on the complete panir so based on the number of structure ready for the number of style ready for the number follow up in the first we have completed the entire syllabus and have written a full test based on the tnpsc syllabus after we have studying based on the um, yes, uh, book wise data. Uh, 12th we completed, we complete 12th, we completed 11th, we completed, we are completing a portion of 10th book. We are ready to go for the test number 14, day after tomorrow. So, uh, 13 question test number 13 very much general English continuous on follow up. Thank you so much.